Okay, thanks for those races from Ludlow Martin. Now you join me here for Hereford uh, Herif for the last three of the week. And we start off with a three mile, two furlong maiden. Number one is Black Autumn, two is Four Richer, three Johansson, four Napoleon's Boots, five Opera Love, six Ray Ray, Ray Ray, hmm, seven the Mighty Eight. So again, a very small field here for a maiden. Just seven of them. Oh, you should uh, knock some of these maidens on the head in the hunt because they're certainly not subscribed. So, they're through the first. And they'll have another 15 to jump. And th just over three miles to travel. So it's Johansson that leads us from Opera Love. And Black Autumn. And then we've got Ray Ray, the Mighty Eight on the outside. Four Richer and Napoleon's Boots the Grey. So as they approach the next. That's Johansson. Gets over that one. Comfortably, and they pass the stand. Hereford, all those SAS men in the crowd shooting and looting and the horses have managed to get past them all and they go outwards now for another circuit I think there's two more circuits to go and it's Johansson that still leads us for Carl Arroganti by about three lengths to the rest just being led by the Mighty Eight and Black Autumn Opera Lover and Ray Ray all together and just at the rear is Napoleon Boots in the grey. And the one uh, four richer for Darren Howes has uh, got nowhere to go. He's got himself well blocked in now. Um, jockey up in the up in the stirrups. And go to the third. Everybody's over that. One of the long distance maidens. And the three mile two. And take the fourth. Everybody flips over that one as well. And it's still Johansson that leads us. As we see that very large uh, farm building in the middle there. I wonder what they keep in there. So as they take the turn, right-handed, leads them to the next. And it's Johansson that's going to lead them into it. Settles himself, gets over it. This is the remainder of the pack, but they've probably got he's probably got a six, seven length advantage now. The one that's managed to get himself out of uh, his position was four richer, and now leads the chasing back, and uh, he's actually uh, driving them on to cut Johansson's leading or winning distance down. So it's Johansson from four richer, and we've got the mighty eight Opera Love. The outside is Ray Ray, Black Autumn for uh, Alex Cherry, and the Grey Napoleon's boots. So we're under two miles to travel now. Johansson still leads. Four Richards, the one that wants to come and challenge. And on the outside is Ray Ray as well. They're one, two, and three. Then we've got the three of Opera Love, Black Autumn, and the Mighty Eight together. Black Autumn didn't get over that hurdle very well. And just at the rear now is Napoleon's Boots. Now we're through half the hurdles. Johansson leads by length to four Richer. And we'll get over the eighth. Four Richard pulls alongside Johansson. Then we got Ray Ray in third. Well, the jockey just uh, taking all of the reins here as they take this right turn. That's Johansson and Four Richard together. And they're four ahead of Ray Ray, Black Alton, Opera Love, and the Mighty Eight. And just still at the rear is Napoleon's boots. And take the ninth. Everybody skips over that as well. Johansson just edges back into the lead by about half a length now. As they're going to go past the grandstand for the last time, there's the winning post. And they've got a full circuit to go. Oh, we're losing one there. Let's see, uh, he's seen the bar, Black Autumn, and he wants a drink and he's off. So bad luck there to Alex Cherry, get a pull up. And he certainly wasn't in the rear of the field. So let's hope uh, there's not actually anything wrong with him. And it was just uh, a wonderful race kit. So we're in the file now. Johansson's one, four Richard two, Ray Ray three, Opera Love four, Mighty Eight five, Napoleon Boots is six. As they go along, they will take the tenth. Four Richard jumped that better than the leader, Johansson. Tries to draw alongside again. They've got a couple of lengths on Ray Ray. There's a further few lengths back to the Mighty Eight, Napoleon's Boots and Opera Love. And Opera Love's been pulled up now. Gone over the last couple of hurdles pretty poorly. And another one we're down. 
Bad luck to connections there. So that's your handsome. Still leading us. Take this right turn. Steady up for the for the next hurdle. That's your handsome and four richer and Ray Ray together. And a few back to Mighty Eight and Napoleon's boots. Only five left. We'll make it round. We'll get some money. They're over it. And we've just got six furlongs left to travel. As they approach the 13th hurdle of 16. The two that are making up some good ground now. Napoleon's boots and the Mighty Eight. They're obviously coming up to, to challenge for the start. It seems to have all changed all of a sudden inside the five. So it's Johansson being challenged now by Napoleon's boots. Then we've got the Mighty Eight coming along the inside. Ray Ray and four richer. So up front is Johansson, Napoleon boots. The Mighty Eight's going to sneak between the two. And it is Napoleon's boots that leads in the bend. But the Mighty Eight's being pushed along well here. Four furlongs left to run. And we've got a couple more hurdles to take. And it's the Mighty Eight at full out, full steam ahead. The Mighty Eight leads by a good couple of legs. Napoleon boots in second. Johansson is now third. Ray Ray, I can't see. Neither can I see for Richard Johansson. OK, we've lined up. And it is the Mighty Eight leading by six to seven lengths here. Napoleon's boots. We've got two and a half furlongs left to run here. I really don't think anything's going to catch this. They're over the 15th, which is the penultimate. We've got one left to go. This, The Mighty Eight has uh, destroyed this maiden field here. Leads by probably five. Ray Ray and Napoleon's boots are really trying hard to close the gap. And then we've got about five lengths back to four richer and then a couple of lengths back to Johansson, the long-time leader. So it's the Mighty Eight. Pulling away still, less than a furlong left to travel. Just the one hurdle. Jockey looks round. You know he's got this in the bag. So it's the mighty eight for Josh Southern that's going to take this by probably six, seven lengths from Ray Ray. Napoleon Boots plugging on in third. Fourth was four richer and Johansson was fifth. Let's wait for the card to come up. And here's the mighty eight for Joshua Southern. Takes it. Ray Ray for Leon Van Rensburg. In second, Napoleon's boots. Third for Stu Gray. Four was for Richard Darren Howes. And five was Johansson for Carl Arrogante.